Wingy Boxing, IFL TV, in association with MTK Global. I'm here with Callum Simpson. Just got the win. We're at the Warrington Takush fight. Uh, tell me about the win. Tell me about your opponent and uh, what you knew about him before the fight. Yeah, what I knew about him before the fight is had um, about 48 fights. I'm experienced. If he's coming off, if he's won three of his last six. What's his um, name? Uh, Kirill. Kirill. I can't pronounce his second name. Is it? <laughs> That's why I left it to yeah, you. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Sonko, yeah, Sonko <laughs> is pronounced but it's sort of a piece, so I'm confused. But yeah, <laughs> no, I, I tried to style that in there. Yeah, that's it, exactly. Trying to, trying to set me up. But uh, no, yeah, he's had, I think he's won three of his last six. Been in with Chris Eubank, Callum Smith, quite a few big names, so I know he's experienced, so he's not, not Muppet really, yeah. So this is your second fight. Talk me through your debut fight. How did that go? Debut fight, yeah, I got that with uh, Doncaster Race Course on a VIP promotion show, Steve Wood. I uh, boxed one called Elvis Doob. Again, he, he was a cruiserweight. I think he came in at 13 8 for that one. And I weighed about 12 10. Um, but yeah, so we uh, went on, on points against him. That yeah, good, good, good. I think I looked, looked, looked very well on that. Look, say, say we're a big opponent, it's hard to look strong against one like that. But I did do really well. I looked fast, put a like, put, 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 like, put lot of pressure on him. Entertaining fight, yeah. And yeah, got the win. How tall are you? About 6'3. You're tall, isn't it? Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. Bit, yeah. How do you, you write it like heavy, you feel comfortable? Yeah, I boxed, I weighed in at 12 6, yeah, 12 6. Okay. And I made that made it very easy. In the last fight, the first fight I came down from like 15 stones to 12 10. This one I've come down from about 14 to 12 6. And I think we're going to go off super middle though, super middle. Like I'm not, I'm not, to, cut, I'm not to cut water or anything like that. And just made it very dangerous easy. at super middle without hiding. That's it, yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, that's, that's the plan anyway. So if we can get down to 12, I, I, we believe we can get down to 12 stone very comfortably, yeah. Very comfortable, yeah, definitely. And what got you into boxing? What made you want to start fighting? Me and my dad, I think I stopped football at the age of like eight, nine, and then um, he was to uh, big with dad all the time to take me to his old gym. He took me down to his old gym, and then the rest of history, really. 13 years later, boxing at um, first Eric Tavina, a real title undercard, so yeah. Enjoy it, enjoy yeah, it, yeah? Yeah, wicked. Like, even, though, even at this time, we still can't busy to say all that, like, obviously, all my supporters are there. So they made, made plenty of noise anyway, so it was great, yeah, it was great. So when you're on your second fight, where's where's your mind at with regards to other opponents or, or should I say other people who you might be looking at? I guess because they're so far off, do you just look at them for inspiration or, yeah, yeah, or do you just definitely. do your own thing? Some fight no, I, I look at them for inspiration, so like, like people like Lyndon Arthur have been doing a lot of sparring with. Uh, like obviously again, he's, as they call him, the king of the, king of the north, King Arthur. So if he's the king, then I'm obviously the, the prince, I'm next, in, <laughs> I'm next in line anyway. But, uh, but yeah, so yeah, that obviously is light heavyweight, that's, that's the thing, we don't really know what weight I'm going in it, whether it's super middle or light heavyweight, so definitely, like I said, I'm spying a lot of top, top class people, so like some more, more inspiration at the minute, but still, we make a little note of them after it's bad anyway. And what yeah, fights I mean. do, you, do you like in, the, in, in it, like around the country and whatnot? What fights in, like what weight or? Yeah, yeah, anyway, who, who, do, you, who do you like, what fighters? So like Josh Warrington, I, I like, like entertaining fights, the thing with the Josh is it's entertaining, but he's smart as well, which you know, people that don't seem train or, can't tell much about him, they think he's just, he moves, goes forward all the time, but when you're watching Spanish and Jim with him, you can realise how smart he is, and he's always thinking, it's good obviously, with the same team as mine, yeah. obviously like Nick, Mark, Abid, obviously his dad Sean, when you're watching Spanish and stuff, and they're watching me and they give me tips, it's great to be around, yeah. See, brother, you're a great interview, man. You just rolled right into my next question. So, because right. you're entertaining fights, I wanted to get to Tyson Fury. Mm. What do you think of Tyson Fury, first of all? Tyson Fury, as a, fighter, I think, as a character. I think he's a character, great character, especially everything he's been through. You know, I liked him before that anyway. He's a great character, but like, he's obviously entertaining. I think he's going on, he's, he's got a wrestling match. That's what I was going to ask you. Yeah, I, 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 used to, cause I used to love wrestling when I was younger. <laughs> and I've seen it on like Twitter or so, or Instagram or something. I thought, eh. What do you but, think of him in the WWE? <laughs> Is it, is it a wrestling match or a boxing match they're doing? I, I, I've got no idea. I've just seen them talk, talk to some big guys. Is it boxing? Yeah. Is it a boxing match, yeah. Oh, there you oh, go. Well. There's something... There'll be a lot of money in it anyway. There'll be a lot of money in it for them both. But you're, good. you're not against some people who are like, oh, it's oh, no, disrespecting not. I, boxing. I, I'd, I'd, I'd do it if I could. I'd do it if, he, if Tyson Fury was watching this. Get me on his undercard, his wrestling undercard, I'd be happy to do it. I guess it's like the KSI thing and all of that. Some people yeah, are yeah. against it, others it's, like it brings attention well, to it. I, I don't mind it, I think it brings all, like, say, a, lot, a lot of attention. Like KSI, and I think it was like Logan Paul. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, um, yeah they're obviously massively known in like YouTube world, not just in the boxing world, so it opens it to a wider audience. And hopefully gets everyone else a lot more. Um, a lot more Get shown, get shown yeah. a lot more, yeah. Is this your more. first IFL TV interview? I believe so, yeah. Oh, yeah, wicked, wicked. Okay. What's next? When, when, when are you at next? Next. Um, Mark, I'm about, to, I'm about to say my next fight, yeah. Can I say my well, next you fight? Say, yeah, yeah, yeah. My ne next fight, 20, 23rd of November in Barnsley, Metrodome, 23rd the next month, so six week today. Yeah, so get straight back in gym next week, training for that one. Wicked, wicked. Yeah, that's good. I'm from Barnsley as well, so it'll be good. Like nice little home show. Home from home, great. Yeah, that's it. Nice. All right. Well, thanks for speaking to Wingy Boxing IFL Thank TV. You. Thank you. Congratulations on the win, and uh, we'll follow the journey. Thanks a lot. All right, brother. Cheers.